soccer rules and regulations. The rules of soccer are fairly simple. You cannot touch the ball with your hands or arms intentionally unless you are the goalie. The whole ball must cross the goal line for it to constitute as a goal. Each game must include one referee and two assistant referees. Match timing. A match consists of two 45-minute halves with a 15-minute rest period in between. If the game needs to head to extra time as the result of both teams being level in a match, then 30 minutes will be added in the form of two 15-minute halves after the allotted 90 minutes. If teams are still level after extra time, then a penalty shootout must take place to decide the winner. Kickoff At the start of a soccer period, or after a goal, there is a kickoff from the center circle. At the kickoff, all of the soccer players must be on their side of the field. Only the player kicking off is allowed inside the center circle. After the kickoff, the ball will be in play until the ball goes out of bounds or a referee calls a penalty. Player Substitutions Each team can name up to seven substitutes. Substitutions can be made at any time of the match with each team being able to make a maximum of three substitutions per side. In the event of all three substitutions being made and a player having to leave the field for injury, the team will be forced to play without a replacement for that player. Offside Rule Offside can be called when an attacking player is in front of the last defender when the pass is played through to them. The offside area is designed to discourage players from simply hanging around the opponent's goal waiting for a pass. To be onside, they must be placed behind the last defender when the ball is played to them. If the player is in front of the last defender, then he is deemed to be offside and a free kick to the defending team will be called. A player cannot be caught offside in their own half. The goalkeeper does not count as a defender. If the ball is played backwards and the player is in front of the last defender, then he is deemed to be not offside. Throwing. When the soccer ball has gone out of bounds, the team that last touched the ball loses possession and the opposing team gets to throw in the ball from the point where the ball crossed out of bounds. When throwing the ball in at a throw-in, the ball must be thrown from behind and over the head using both hands. When the ball leaves the thrower's hands, both of his or her feet must be touching the ground. Corner Kick When the defending team last touches the ball and it crosses the goal line and not scoring a goal, the opposing team gets to kick the ball from the corner of the field. Goal Kick When the offensive team last touches the ball before it crosses the goal line, goalie gets to kick the ball from the goal box. Penalty Kick When a foul occurs in the penalty area, the foul team is awarded a penalty kick. Free Kicks Free kicks or penalty kicks may be awarded to the opposing soccer team. Out of bounds. Out of bounds can occur when the ball completely crosses over the boundary line. Soccer fouls. Soccer fouls can be any number of unfair advantages taken by a player that are called by the referee. These can include tripping, pushing, and touching the ball with the hands. Yellow card or a red card. For fouls committed, a player could receive a yellow or a red card depending on the severity of the foul. This comes down to the referee's discretion. The yellow card is a warning and a red card is the dismissal of that player. Two yellow cards equal one red. Once a player is sent off, they cannot be replaced. This is all for this video. In the next video, we'll discuss about player roles and positions. If you like the video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.